my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, this time with a little Christmas feel, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi hey everybody, Merry Christmas. No, 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 no. We're gonna have a Christmas themed and winter themed show today to get us all ready to get into some seasonal sewing all right so first off let me get all the formalities out of, out of the way thanks for being here whether you're watching us on facebook or youtube if you're new around here welcome welcome say hi to your friends and new folks in the comments we're live of course on both channels and if you're new around here make sure you subscribe and like our page and then of course the more you comment throughout our show the better chance to win a prize. We give away $25 gift cards, two of them every single show. Uh, one is randomly chosen from all of your comments live. So we will know one, we will uh, award one live winner at the end of the show. And then of course we have a giveaway question at the end where you have a second chance to win, even if you're not watching live. So stick with us, send us some hearts and some thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. What we will be focusing on tonight is all of our seasonal bundles so christmas and winter fabric and we have been making sewing up a storm G trying to give you some inspiration on how, what to do with all those beautiful fabrics it's time to stock up and get ready for winter sewing i love uh working on christmasy stuff wintry stuff through those months so i know it's always weird to purchase fabric christmas fabric in the summer but you know what if you wait till December, they're going to be gone. So that's, this is why we wanted to do it now. Now, of course, with all the shipping delays of fabric, we are a little bit later than we probably normally would be. But um, thanks for being here. We are going to start with um, a little housekeeping from last week, announcing our winner from our giveaway question from last week's show. I asked you during that show, the giveaway question was, do you have indoor plants? And our winner is Miss Teresa Holtzman. Um, she, her answer was yes, she has indoor plants. And her poinsettias are, um, poinsettias are doing great. Wow. I, mine don't even make it, <clears throat> they don't ever make it through the whole year. <laughs> I thought they were Christmas, Christmas plants. Um, <laughs> anyways, that's another story. Uh, say hi to Mr. HP. He is with me here. Of course, hey, we are festive, festive, festive. He hi. is uh, wearing his hat, of course, oh, and oh, oh. his favorite pajamas. Favorite pajamas. They are the best all year. He wears them year, year round, year round. I got my water because I got a lot of talking to do today. Someone else is in there. Someone else is here, and he is dressed up too. Check it out. Kobe's uh, laying right next to his daddy. Do you have a photo? I snapped a photo of him. Yeah. You got to put it on the big screen. Yeah, there you go. Um, he is wearing his Santa suit. As you can see, he's not totally happy about it. He's like, <laughs> he Already? does not love it. And um, he does have a hat, but that one comes off about two seconds after I put it on him. So, but he is a good sport, so he's wearing it. Uh, and laying on his little Christmas quilt. <laughs> oh, boy. Poor yes. Fella. Poor fella. <laughs> it's okay, Kobe. You don't have to wear it again until Christmas Eve. All right. So, um, speaking of Christmas, I wanted to mention this because maybe some of you know that I do occasional tours for quilters. And we have one coming up in um, end of November, November 29th through through December 8th and that is a trip to Germany to um, of course visit all the Christmas markets and learn some more about the culture of Germany and then we're gonna fly over to Iceland and spend a few days in Iceland and hoping of course for some northern lights at least a lot of Christmas spirit um, Icelandic style so this trip was sold out this summer however we got some spots open so if you are have the urge to travel and want to jump on and travel with us to germany and iceland in this well in just a few months um 
Check it out, send me an email, or the, all the information is on our website. If you go on the top header and you click on more, there is a link that says Travel with Gudrun. That trip is at the top, the itinerary is there. So check it out, send me an email, and I will get you um, in touch with our tour operator if you don't have any plans. It's going to be a fun time. Right? It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a great time. It's going to be a good time. Mr. HP is coming with I'm us. I'm coming too. Yes. yes. So it'll be loads of fun. Um, I wanted to also mention Christmas in Europe. Of course, our uh, block of the month, mystery block of the month that started last month. Now, if you um, purchased a kit and paid for your kit already, you should have also gotten an email from me uh, making a decision if you wanted to swap out the gray background uh, for a, a thatched pebble, your spotted graphite to thatched pebble. We are ready to ship it out if that's what you want. If you want to wait for the spotted, no big deal. It would just be great to hear from you because we're going to assume if we don't hear from you that you want to wait for the spotted. All right, but uh, we have all the graph, all the um, thatched kits. We got them, most of them shipped out today. So send me an email if you haven't, haven't let me know what you, which one you want. And then, of course, if you haven't paid for your kit, we would love to hear from you if um, you're not going to take it because we're going to uh, put some kits up on the website once we get all of them out, <clears throat> some kits with the thatched background. So those of you waiting, um, that will be coming probably next week. We're going to give these guys a chance this week, and then next week we will, we'll, we will get them up on the website. All right. Um, so before we dive into all of our beautiful Christmas inspiration here, uh, let me just remind you a few things. First off, we have created a blog post with everything that I'm going to show you here. Um, all the projects that we made, if we used any additional fabrics for that project, there's links to that and, and information on what we used. I want to tell you to go grab yourself a notepad and a pencil or a pen uh, because you're going to be seeing a lot and it's great to take notes if you see something you like. And um, so, but of course the blog is there for you to find if you don't remember anything or um, want links to the patterns, the books, or the additional fabrics and um, bundles. But I also wanted to say, um, I encourage you also to use our search feature on our website. So go to the search bar. So if there's something um, that you saw, for example, a bundle, just type in the bundle name or anything, uh, you know, kind of connected to it. You will get everything pulled up, including black posts. You will get the patterns. You will get um, all the accompanying fabrics because sometimes there's a bundle and then there's other fabrics available in one yards or three yards. So it's always great to use that search feature if you're looking for something specific. It, it's um, it really I use it multiple times a day myself so uh, that's great and of course I want you guys to stay with us through the end of the show because there is a little treat for you at the end of the rainbow yay the Christmas winter rainbow um, and I hear uh, there was some maybe some sleigh bells going on uh, enhancing our intro song there's sleigh bells right yes. now so one more thing I wanted to mention, uh, you know, there's a lot of free patterns on our website. Check out the link under free patterns. All of the Advent projects that I created last year, so every week uh, of the Advent in December, we had a small, quick project. And so we will do something similar this year. And so it was really good to kind of stock up on some cute bundles to have for those projects. Just a little hint. And you'll find previous year's projects right under free patterns. Um, there's also a blog post about the Advent projects if you wanna, want some more reading. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. And to make it simple for me, for us, all of us, we decided just to do go through all the fabric that we have, all the fabric bundles and all the projects that we made from them alphabetically. So it just makes it so much easier. So we are going to start with um, the Alpine Winter Bundle. So this is a, just a eight piece bundle, small bundle, but really beautiful. So not necessarily Christmas, very much winter. So this one, uh, we made a little runner, little runner um, called the Braid Runner. 
might be familiar. Of course, one of my oldest patterns, my first ever published pattern is a quilt as you go. And so what we did is a lovely fuzzy cut sleigh here in the middle. We used the fabrics in the bundle, alternating the lights and the darks. I actually took the plaid and cut it on the bias for the narrow border and the binding. It worked out great. So all we needed was the bundle and worked out for backing, pieced it a little bit to make it work. And so this is the braid runner. Do we have a photo of it? Can you put the photo so they can see maybe a bigger, bigger piece of it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it was a little hard, hard um, photographing this one, but turned out good. All right, so that was Alpine Winter. Our next bundle is called Baby, It's Cold Outside. Now, I really love this bundle. I would actually really love to make a whole quilt out of it, but I didn't have that much time. So, again, made a table runner, and this one is, uh, we made a Duty Calls table runner, and did something different, decided not to do a light background, used that um, moonscape for the background. So, and then this beautiful print in the border, lovely stripe, all included in the bundle. So, so this one is quick also, quilt as you go, so it really goes well. And you can have some fun stuff for the back. Just beautiful. And so again, I don't think this one is too Christmassy. It's just kind of wintry. So it can last you through a long time throughout the season. All right, so this next one is one of our three wishes bundles. So they're smaller, they're really good price. If you're looking for just some holiday fabrics um, for a good price, these bundles are really uh, economic in price so we made some little things with this we just did um the trivet from from the um from the advent um, bundle uh, advent projects last year and some really cute napkins because these fabrics kind of lend themselves really nicely to that uh really cute cute napkins using these prints love that nice bright green and the and the ornaments so it's really cute and you can use those trivets either side so what you use in the trivets it's a heat uh, a batting that it has um, a little layer of insulation so it does not get hot through the trivet so you can put a hot pot anything hot on it and it won't ruin your table so this was believe and moving right on um, Christmas morning. Now, Christmas morning, unfortunately, we are sold out. Um, that was a popular line. This is, of course, I'm using a part of this for the Christmas in Europe. But, of course, I um, we sold out the, of the bundle, but I wanted to show you stuff because I know a lot of you bought the bundle and are planning on making things. So, I figured we got to show you what I did. So, Many of you knew that I was working on a prisms, so I got mine finished except for the binding. Um, so the, I just made um, a little lap sized or like kind of a couch throw. I think it looks great on the back of my couch. Here's the size I did. So it's, it's smaller than a lap. I just um, made 25 blocks. So it's a square. Um, nice. It could cover like a back of a couch or just a little lap quilt. Um, and so I wanted to show you up close the quilting on it. I chose a quilting pattern kind of because there's a lot of leaves in here. So it's called ground cover. Um, just a nice texture. And I love this backing. I use this for the backing. We still have some of, even though we're out of the bundle, we still have some of the Christmas morning fabrics, both in three yards and one yard. So we have this one and um, and what I, what I used for my background and the the back or uh, border. I just have to bind it and then it'll be ready as my couch quilt for the season. But here's what I love about uh, about my bundles. I tend to cut them so I cut mine, mine into five inch squares. I use that for the quilt actually because even though it calls for 10 inch squares so I, I cut into five and then I have some 10 inch squares still left. But then uh, if you look at on the cabinet right here so i cut 10 inch squares i cut five inch squares and then i had enough for two and a half inch strips so i got one two and a half inch strip 
from each of the fabrics. And that was enough to make this cute little table runner. So this is strip search, which is just a strip pattern, but I just made three blocks, so which is a quarter of a lap size. And it's a great little runner. It, and it plus, it went so quick. So uh, it was just great to have that. And then I have still the 10 inch squares that I'm thinking of making either an algorithm or a Jojo, I'm not sure. But then we have um, still some charm packs in Christmas morning. And so we also made one more quilt out of it, out of a charm pack. So this is um, little Kira made from Christmas morning using that same fabric for the border. Um, and there it is photographed on a chair. So Christmas morning, little Kira. All right. <clears throat> Next up is a bundle by Tim Holtz. This is called Christmas time. His unique style, um, kind of a, a blend between some traditional prints and um, then his modern grungy things too. I love the fabric I, uh, the, the fabric I used that came out last year, his line. And so I used it for my strippy forest quilt last year and I decided to do it again. So we have this available as a kit. Strippy Forest is in my Stripology Mixology book. And um, so the kit comes complete with everything you need, uh, including the background fabric enough to make it because it is directional fabric. You can, you have instructions to kind of switch things up so everything is directional and also enough fabric for the border to cut that directional. And you have the option of the, using the plaid for your binding or just using the red, the left of the, over of the red. So I wanted to show you close up um, because I really love this background fabric. It's, it's Christmas Carol um, music notes or like from a music book. So the actual notes of all kinds of Christmas carols. Really love it. Um, kind of worn, a little worn, uh, distressed look. So... This is what I made with Christmas time. I uh, like many of you know I love um, Tim Holtz fabric, so I kind of collect them. So I have some some saved away, but this is available as um, a kit. Still, it's been flying out though. I have to say it's a great one to secure uh, something to work on over the over the holidays. All right, so next one up is uh, a smaller line. This is a I believe a timeless treasures only eight pieces but it is really unique and cool I really loved um, the plaid just a little touch of red so what I did I took out that one print of the red and made a quilt um, a smaller version of the Amelie quilt I just made a, a square because I wanted to use it as a topper and then I just used one fabric I, th I believe it is um, I believe it is a canvas that's all on the blog, which fabric I use for the accent. And I just love the red pinwheels. It's gonna be such a beautiful table topper for the holidays um, to lay in the middle of. It could even be used as a tree skirt if you wanted to. But uh, I just love these traditional colors um, and yet has a little edge to it. And of course the perfect, perfect binding with that bias plaid that comes in, in the bundle. So some, something to think about, even though there's a pattern for a whole quilt, you don't always have to make a whole big quilt. You can make portions of it, a few blocks for a runner or a square or anything like that. Play with it um, and have fun with it. And don't be afraid to pull out one fabric out of the bundle. If Like that one, there was only that one red, so I took it out and decided to add a red that would kind of be that focus and bring all that out. So that was um, Comfort and Joy. Then next one up, a totally unique colorway uh, for Christmas fabric. Very mild colors, kind of pastel-y a little bit. It's called Fa La La, but I love the artwork. Really unique. And I made just a small Taylor quilt out of it. So Taylor is, um, you know, again, you can do multiple different sizes. So this one was just so sweet. I thought it would be really cute for little girls to have. Um, and so the quilting I did, that Gertie did, 
uh, not me. I really love these um, swirly things that we did with this. So very cute, but kind of kind of a different colorway and something to kind of break up the normal Christmas colors. So Taylor out of Fa La La. All right. Next up is a bundle called Holiday Lane. Now this is a very classic gray, red, and white. Um, this artist is very popular every year. We did have a kit <clears throat> that sold out really, really fast <laughs> because it had uh, panels. Uh, that was the Holiday Stroll quilt. There it is. And so the, we sold out of this really fast and so couldn't get more panels. So we still have the bundle. So, uh, but you can, of course, piece whatever into those panel uh, squares. But it's just a really pretty line, very classic white and red, very kind of a Scandinavian feel to it. Here's, here's the quilt. Um, but I am also, I used it also for one of the kits for the Confetti Betty table runner in the Fast and Furious Club. So we still have these kits available. So Confetti Buddy is a quilt as she goes, our first project in Fast and Furious Club for the month of September. So it's available now. If you're not a part of Fast and Furious Club, you can always purchase it separately. Um, the pattern comes as a, it's a PDF download, comes with a video, instructional video, where I take you through all the steps from start to finish. So very easy uh, and I really love this and you can have some fun with the back. So Holiday Lane, always classic, red and white, and a little bit of gray to modern it up. All right, this next one is called Hika Glow. This is a very Scandinavian feel line uh, from Louis and Irene. So we have the little Nisses or the Tauntons, and this is a glow in the dark line. So would be cool for anything. I only used, I've only made one little quilt with it and that is another one of our um, Fast and Furious projects. This is our November project. So this is um, a kit that we had, we were sold out, but we are, I'm making more. So just, just um, hang tight, it's not ready yet, but we'll have more kits uh, in a couple of weeks, I believe. We are just getting through our Christmas in Europe kits and then we'll get on the making more of these and also our Halloween one. But I really love this and of course you turn off the lights and all the white glows. So it's really cool. Extra little fun for the kids. So this is Hick It Glow. Uh, next up, time for hot cocoa. Well, not quite around here. It was almost 80 degrees. <laughs> today we, yeah we have kind of like a bonus week of summer this week which I'm loving it but um, time for hot cocoa we have it as a bundle and we have a panel that goes with it um, but it's sold separately if you wanted that but we also made some beautiful placemats and they are available as a kit so these placemats are um, from my pattern, Cup of Joe. They're quilt as you go, very simple and easy. The, the kit is enough to make eight of these because there are eight different um, images. So I felt like we need to use them all. So there's eight different images um, that you can make eight placemats. So think about it this way. If you have family of four, you have four, you have two Christmas gifts for just one kit. And everything is in the kit, the binding, even the cute backing, the cups of cocoa uh, for the backing is included in the kit. So all you have to do is get your pattern if you don't have it already and that we have that both as a PDF and also as uh, a printed pattern. So hot cocoa coming up. That actually makes me want some hot cocoa. That's one of your favorite treats in the winter time, isn't it? hot cocoa. Okay, can we take a little break so I can have a little sip? Not of hot cocoa, but um, I got my water. I knew I needed to talk a lot today, so I got my water. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> what's up next, Mr. HP? Hustle and bustle. 
<clears throat> hustle and bustle um, just came in actually. One of those very delayed lines it was supposed to come in June or July. And so we just got it in in September. But gorgeous line from Moda from Basic Gray. I always um, am always so excited to see Basic Gray's lines because I always love them. Very rich colors. And this is the bundle. So I picked um, this colorway, the greens, the reds, and then that taupey gray. Love it. And um, we also have, if you want it, the full line. We do have the charm pack and a uh, layer cake. So that is the whole line. But I couldn't help myself, and I snatched up one of the charm packs and made a little Kim. So what I did, it's a, one of our free patterns. You can find it on our website. Um, it's a table runner, but I actually made it shorter and a one row wider. So it's still just one charm pack. And <clears throat> I just have to bind it because um, uh, it was just on the long arm this morning. So just some fun, simple pattern. But I really love how this turned out. This will be so colorful and fun for uh, your table. So you could do it in a little bit more control colorway using just the bundle. You can, of course, add some uh, a sim single light color uh, fabric to it, any, any fabric. This is, of course, very scrappy and wild. If that's what floats your boat, then maybe a uh, better bet would be to get either the charm pack or a layer cake, because a layer cake could make four of these, right? More is better. More is always better, <laughs> right? Yep. I love it. And Little Kim is very, very forgiving. Um, I recommend using the mini ruler, Stripology mini ruler. It makes this just a breeze. And there's a little video actually that I did with a fat quarter shop on how to make it. So if you get a little stranded, find the video on YouTube and you'll be good to go. All right. Next up, <clears throat> beautiful line called Joyful Tidings, right? Yes. Saying that right, Joyful Tidings. Now, this is a beautiful line, nice and subtle. So we made a couple of things with it. Um, so if you don't want a whole lot of contrast, so we have this runner. This is off kilter from from uh, Fast and Furious Club last year. So Quilt Does She Go? And it's, uh, we kind of decided to use just a few fabrics and kind of repeat them. So just the green repeated. It's kind of a unique way of looking at this. Um, and you know, you don't always have to have, you know, nine different fabrics. You can just use a few and it just kind of repeated it. Kind of continuing, um, creates a little continuance. I love the sleigh fabric in here. I uh, use that for the back. So that is the off kilter. We also make made a little Jojo. So not using the red in there, I kind of regretting, might have been cool to throw the red in there for a little more contrast, but this is a great uh, fabric to, if you want something a little subtle, just very soft colors, using those grays and just these specks of red. Um, you can see more detail here. Uh, I love the stockings and the snowmen and of course the sleighs and everything. So it's beautiful, 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 beautiful. So this is little Jojo and that little Jojo is in our, um, Stribology Mixology 2 book, our newest book. All right. Um, moving on to, let's see what's up next. Oh, keep believing. So this bundle is also a very unique bundle. I have it here. Um, so this is an eight piece bundle. It's, uh, the, the artwork It's by Louise and Irene. The artwork is by a Scandinavian artist. So very similar colorways, very similar artwork every year, but just slightly different. So the pieces, like I said, eight pieces in here. We really didn't have much time with this one, but made some really cute napkins. Um, so this I think would be really cool for napkins and especially we have this wide print which is a double border print so it's 58 inches wide um, and we sell it in three yards and one yards and so here's how cute this is um, this I really bought for it's perfect to make just hem it up and make a tablecloth for a nice sized uh, dining room table would fit it perfectly 
And so how cute would that be to set a table with uh, some napkins from the bundle? Kind of can do some mismatch napkins. There's also a panel that comes with this with all of the little art artworks. I think, I believe they measure about five inches. So you could make little trivets, you can make um, coasters, even ornaments. I was thinking of making just like a little banner to hang. Um, it's like little pennants or something, but these are so cute for kids. I really love them. Um, especially if you have some Scandinavian heritage, this is really gonna be up your alley. Um, it just really takes me back. So this is Keep Believing. And of course you can make quilts out of it. I just wanted to do something totally different. Now one of the things that is always done in Iceland and I believe many other Scandinavian countries is uh, we always put up Christmas like curtains for your kitchen like valances. So this print is perfect for that. You could just use this, hem it up um, and split it in half and there's your, there's your valance. Winter um, Christmas valance. Really love it. And we just sent some of these to Iceland because for that reason, they're, they're all over this one. So gotta love that. All right, so that was Keep Believing. Next up, we are going to check out Noel. So Noel is um, a larger bundle also from Louis and Irene. Very classic, very traditional prints, Christmas prints with metallic gold in it. So um, really love the classic colors and I thought it would be perfect to work it up and make a Octavia quilt. So Octavia is in my Stripology Mixology 2. This quilt is also hanging behind me, right, right on the set. And so uh, I didn't have any prints for the border, so I figured I love all these prints, so I just made a scrappy border. You don't always have to have one fabric for the border. You can just use all of them, especially using all the prints in the blocks. It's perfect just to add them all to the outside. So really loved how, how that one turned out. And you can see it here in the back. I used a background, the dual impossibility that has a little gold speckled throughout. And it was a perfect background for, for the other prints. So that was Noel. All right, next up is Nose to Nose, a winter line, very, very cute. Um, we have some uh, forest creatures and snowmen, and I love the little, little hanging lights. And so I thought this is perfect for little kids. So I thought uh, Christmas, no, a, a baby-sized quilt. And we did a Nova. So very subtle and probably not traditional that you see Nova like this and just really two colors. So it's very subtle and then use that gray for the border. Just popped it up a little bit more with that red binding. But I really love how this turned out. It's so cute and um, used one of my favorite quilting patterns, the marmalade, because this kind of looks like a snowstorm. <laughs> uh, some of you may have never been in a snowstorm, <laughs> but it kind of—that's how it how it looks to me. So I really love this, and what a sweet quilt for for somebody so whimsical. And then we used some of the, I used some of the leftover fabrics on the back for a fun pieced back. So it was just, just as much fun for the back as the front. So this was nose to nose. All right. Peace on Earth. Now this is another three wishes line, just five pieces. I just really loved it. They were so different and so unique. Um, and you know, again, a lot of folks are like, well, what do I do with just the five pieces? Well, it's easy to add to it. It's just black, white, and gray, and, and with some metallic gold, just a little glitter in there. So I made a table runner, the off-kilter table runner, um, and just added a couple of fabrics. So the rainbow sprinkles in the blizzard color, the white and the black and the noir, they worked in perfectly. And oh, I just love how it turned out. Just so cute. So uh, very modern very um striking so i think this would be 
very popular with the younger crowd, I, I feel like. Um, somebody that doesn't want traditional Christmas. This is very modern. Um, so I really love how it turned out. I think I may have to <clears throat> keep this one. <laughs> very hip. Very hip. Oh, that's a nice word. Very hip. All right. Now, here's another that's not so hip. <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that. It's very hip. But it's very classic. Now, this is the type of prints that I remember growing up. The Christmas prints, the, they're all kind of smaller prints. I really love them. This is called Santa Express. Very whimsical, fun fun um, fabrics with a little bit of metallic gold but before I show you what I made out of this you have to um, swear to secrecy because I made a quilt out of this that is a brand new pattern that I'm not even gonna talk about until next week so you're gonna have to forget for a little while I don't want any emails asking me about this pattern and when you get it and how you can get it now <laughs> You'll find all of that out next week. But there is a new pattern coming out. Her name is Saga. And here's the pattern. Well, here's what I made with the Santa Express. Uh, it's really cool. It uses 10 inch squares. And of course, the topology rulers. It's much, much easier than, than uh, what it looks. And I'm not going to talk anymore about this pattern because we're going to introduce you to her in her full glory and all of the quilts are made already from this pattern next week ah, exciting all right no emails about her yet okay promise <laughs> uh, let me I'll show you up close though it's so cute I really love this fabric uh, in here it's so much fun and whimsical how cute is that snowmen santas gifts polar bears and a little bit of sparkle with that metallic gold and santa express has a print that we sell in uh one yards and three yards uh, that i really love um so i had to use that for the back so look how cute that is so we got the santa on the train and everything so super cute so this is Santa Express, and you're going to forget uh, what quilt this is, right? Already? It's already forgotten. Okay, <clears throat> next one up is Santa Paws, another fun line uh, for kids. I think Santa Express would be too, so now i got a few quilts for kids that I can um, gift away. Santa Paws is um has of course cats and dogs and some really fun whimsical prints and i made an algorithm out of santa paws and i love it there's a close-up it's so cute do we have the bigger picture or just the close-up mm, no bigger picture no ma'am okay well i'll we will it's on the blog the bigger picture is on the blog um but it's I really love how this turned out. It's so cute. Um, I quilted it with some icicles. And look at just the fun patterns and prints. And the dogs and the cats sleeping and playing with gifts and Christmas ornaments. Um, let me, I'll just hold it up and step back and hold it up. How about that? Will that work? See? Isn't that cute? Super cute. And a lap size, so you will have enough to make for the bundle uh, to make the size, and then you'll have some extra stuff to make either strips or five inch squares or some other fun stuff. All right, next up, a small bundle too called uh silent night silent night so really just black and white and just a little touch of red so there was just that plaid that had the red and then there's some cardinals in the trees so what i did with this was just a fun little small stella quilt um, and i added the christmas time red 
So we alternated the Christmas time red in every block. So you can add any red just to make it make it more more red, I guess. But I really love how it um, turned out. I, I love these black and white, kind of like a chalk um, style prints. And then, of course, the pop of plaid. Just love it. And we have that plaid in one year. So if you wanted more of the plaid, you could add that, too. So this is Stella um, using, of course, some of the some of the prints on the back. Really love this print. So this is just a little crib size Stella. Super quick to make and goes together fast. So that, that collection too would be great for runners. All right, this next one is Snow Place Like Home. This is a flannel bundle um, and I made a quilt out of it that um, Teen Spirit, where because there's a panel that goes with this. And so, um, I made a Teen Spirit, and there is adjustments on the website on how to adjust the panels and sew a border around them to fit the blocks for Teen Spirit. And this quilt, um, this quilt top is currently uh, <laughs> on, on the run. <laughs> Hopefully, we can't find it. So, we have it documented. It was on my set um, not too long ago, and it has disappeared. So it'll pop up, I'm sure. But here's the bundle, just so I can show you the fabrics. Uh, we still, I think we believe we still have some of the panels available. But uh, great, 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 beautiful flannels. Uh, we do have the bias buffalo plaid, the diagonal buffalo plaid available in one yards, um, and that's flannel. So just make a note of that. Um, use some, I used some of that for the backing. It's beautiful. Um, or plan to use it for backing. That is, I have it set aside. <laughs> I have it set aside. It hasn't been quilted yet because we can't find the, the doggone thing. <laughs> now I'm really going to start looking. <clears throat> All right, so there is uh, another flannel line. This is um, called Warming Up Winter. And I thought I had it here. I don't have it, but it's really cute great for kids um and so we made a, a crib size quilt out of it and uh left that at the warehouse sorry about that but this is called lickety split and we'll take a better photo and add it to the blog but it's really really awesome so there's this one print in there that's kind of like a stripe and a border fabric and so that's used there in the middle so that makes it kind of more in more interesting, more intriguing. And then um, I love the fun, the rest of the fun prints. So really cuddly flannel. So really quick to work up because the, the lickety split is a quilt as you go a pattern, a baby quilt. So if you need a quick gift, this one is perfect for that. All right, so we're moving on. Some more winter stuff. This one is called Welcome Winter. And it is a, a bundle with 12, 12 different um, prints. And there is a panel that comes with it. Let me show you the panel first before I show you what I made with it. Because I didn't use the panel. I wanted to do something else. But um, you can definitely do something with a panel. It is snowman, really, really cute. And I thought, actually, now I want to use the panel because I want to make pillows to match the table runner that I actually made. We made with this um, fabric line. So how cute would that be to make pillows to match? And let me show you, the runner is called Curvaceous. Look at it, it is so cute. I am dying for that polka dot. And the stripe, the peppermint candy stripe around the edge, that one is available in one yard so you can get more of that because uh, that is a must-have in my in my stash at least so cute hats um, really went with a gray and red and just isn't that a cute runner it's a quilt as you go too. very simple very easy to do no curve piecing I promise no curve piecing but imagine this on your coffee table and then matching pillows I'm just seeing it right now how cute. 
using that candy stripe around the edge, maybe some of the gray for a border. Be awesome. Perfect for winter. And it can stay up all winter into, uh, well, if we're talking about Minnesota, we're talking April. <laughs> uh, April. <laughs> all right. We're getting close here. We're in the W's. Next up is White Christmas. Now, this is a very classic uh, silver, <coughs> metallic, gold, beautiful classic line. Um, some creams in the back, in the base, and then um, beautiful ornaments. And so perfect to make what I thought a classic table runner. Very classy if your decor is silver and gold. So this is called Slivers. This is also a table runner that stunned quilt as you go. Very simple and easy to do. Um, love the stripe cut on the bias for a perfect binding. That's in the bundle too. And then of course, I love this for the back. So using that, that, that beautiful print. And you kind of have a double-sided runner if, if you wanted to. Um, switch it up. And we took a, a cool photo of it to see the back too. Yeah, really love this one. Turned out beautifully. And fun to use the pattern that I um, sometimes kind of forget a little bit. Forget about this one, but it's a great pattern. It has two sizes of the slivers one. It has a mini version that, where you can use um, charm, charm squares. So all in the same pattern, slivers. Just a tiny little pattern for $6.50. All right, so next up, um, still in the W's, Winter Frost. Winter Frost is uh, a fun, cool line, very different, but also just winter. You don't have Winter Frost? Yeah, no Winter Frost. Do you have the photo of the Clarissa? No. Okay. Well, I made a Clarissa out of Winter Frost. So, uh, uh, again, I felt it was very kind of Scandinavian feel, different colors, you know, I'm all about anything different. So um, let me just turn it so you can see some of the prints. Um, we fe I featured that a, a while ago in a, um, a tipsy episode, but I loved the houses, the little village scenes, this one, and then the folks, the one in the elf hat and all the different people and the characters that live in the little town. So. I use just um, this really cool accent color that pulls everything together. And so this is um, Winter Frost. All right. Well, this, there is a photo of the quilt all in the, on the blog, so you can check, check it out there. No worries. All right. Next up, Yuletide. Yuletide is a recent, came to us recently, but we were able to whip up a little quilt. Um, no, it's not the flannel, it's the other one, the other Yuletide. Yeah, no, you don't have it? <laughs> okay, that's okay. It's um, a very cool combination of colors because it's greens and blues and very elfy like characters. So very kind of a Scandinavian feel to it. It's got some plaids. And so I made a Sammy quilt out of it. So check out, I think you have a photo of Sammy. Um, we just took it today. Remember that? Um, Yuletide Sammy. Oh, we don't have that one either. That's okay. I can hold it up too. So let's look it up close first so I can show you the colors. And yeah. Really great greens and blues. So I just used a white um, polka dot for the accent color. Just kind of runs throughout. I wanted it more subtle. If you wanted it more standing out, you could totally do it with red. Add red for the accent if you want to stand out. But I'm going to hold this up so that you can see it. It's a really great size. So this is the crib size, but it's a large crib. So I put a flannel on the back, so this would be a really nice cuddle quilt. But isn't that cute? Cute, different, um, different colorway, and be great for a little boy or something for a Christmas cuddle quilt. And like we have the little Santa on the goat, so very Swedish inspiration here. 
So yes, I love it because it's different colors and I love it because it has a little Scandinavian edge to it. Okay, now the last one, last one up is our Yuletide Gatherings flannels. So these two colorways, so this is, we have two colorways of this bundle. We have the red and green, so we have six reds and six greens. And then I made a quilt out of that bundle from our supersized steamy windows pattern. Very simple and just super cuddly. These Moda flannels are just amazing, thick and nice, wonderful to work with. And then I also made another using the grays, but we don't have a photo of it, but it's on the blog. So I did a supersized steamy again using the grays and I have to tell you something I'm working on another quilt using mixing these two so um, something you'll be hearing more about in the very near future so beautiful flannels yuletide gatherings um, and the Christmas and the neutral are these two so <clears throat> The one is hanging behind me. The, the red and green one, I hung it in the corner. You can see it kind of, sort of, hanging there. But as I was hanging it up, I just like, um, we have some of the prints, both in the red and the grays, in three yards. So they're perfect for the backing. And I backed mine with one of them. And this quilt is so cuddly. I was so ready, except for it was an 80 degree day. But I know it's coming. It's going to cool down here pretty soon. So that is all of the project that we made it was a lot so um, I hope you enjoyed it we have a few more bundles that are either have come in recently and we didn't have really time to uh, make stuff out of them but I already have plans so I thought I would show you um, so we're gonna start with a frosty uh, forage here it is this one is so cute so this one is again not necessarily Christmassy at all because it's got just you know winter um, and some mushrooms and stuff so I love the spooky characters of the foxes so I was thinking of either doing a pitter patter I think it will be great for any kind of table runner using the mushrooms um, and just kind of a wintry nice nice blues um, in this so just a six piece bundle <clears throat> easy easy um, here we have another flannel line called Winter Elegance. Now this one uh, has a panel too, but this is an uh, eight-piece bundle, blacks and reds mostly. Again, not too Christmassy, I would say more winter. And then the panel, so you could do something super simple as just bordering the panels. They are rectangular, so kind of unique in that way. Um, and they are eight to each panel. So just kind of love, peace, joy, <clears throat> rejoice, home, Noel, and believe are, uh, is this one. So haven't quite gotten to it yet, but I thought to myself this would be fun to work on maybe over the holidays. So I've set one of these aside for me. All right, the next one we have have is another flannel called Frosted Forest. Frosted Forest is again just wintry. We got pine cones, a little bit of snowflakes, we got some bears in the woods and deer. So this is again something that I am actually working on. This flannel project I told you about. So you'll be seeing something real soon out of Frosted Forest. All right, um, the next one is Scandi. Scandi is, uh, of course, one of our hot, hot, hot bundles. It just came in. It was on uh, pre-order, so a lot of you already have this. Just grays, very Scandinavian. Grays, reds, and a little bit of creams. We have the star print here in the red, gray, and um, cream available in three yards and one yards and I um, have to have one of these because I want to make um, some quilts. Now this is so classic it could be anything. Um, fractions, I could see this uh, 
little JoJo uh, or JoJo uh, table runners, bigger quilts, anything you want to make out of this. It's all going to be gorgeous and very coordinated because it's such a, a limited colorway. Just a little hint of metallic gold in here, <clears throat> but I really, really love this. Um, what looks like sometimes silver is just the gray, but Scandi is beautiful and classic. Um, then we have Season of Heart. We just got this in. I just showed you this last week. So this is uh, very classic colors. We have the Cardinals. We have the Poinsettias and the Holly. So beautiful, beautiful line. Easy to do something where it requires lights and darks to pair them up. So uh, we do have some of the Cardinal prints in one yards. So you can easily add more, add borders, things like that, backings. Um, easy to do. All right. Um, and then I have one more that is brand new that just came in. So I'm going to show you the bundle for the first time. This is called The Tradition Continues. And I'm going to, it's just a six piece bundle, but very unique print, which is where I started with. It's a running yardage. It's, it's not a panel, but we still hand cut it just like if it was a panel because <clears throat> it kind of looks like one. So this is Tradition Continues, and so this is running yardage, so you won't see um, a repeat like it was a panel, but all these beautiful, they're about five inch pieces, yeah, and you'll see it's running yardage because of this, so otherwise it would have been designed like a panel. But beautiful images, um, kind of these vintage, the trucks and the boots, I got, I love the polka dot boots. Um, so these would be great to either just frame them, you can repeat, um, just kind of do a log cabin or just frames around in different sizes, or you can make little coasters, trivets, really cute things with this. But let me show you the coordinate prints in the bundle. <clears throat> so we have the trucks with the boots and the Christmas trees on the black background. I love that black background with the, with the dots because it's like it's snowing. Then we have that same print just as the solid with the black dots. We have a gray print that has actually a quilting pattern in the background and the boots. Love these. I need to get me some red polka dot boots like that. We have the red um, same print here as a tone on tone and then um, a light gray print with the trucks, the red and white trucks. So this is the bundle, pretty much just just six prints. And then I did do a pull with it because, of course, got to do a pull. I did, um, the, for the blacks, I did the chalkboard texture in the black. Great texture with different shades of black. And we have the love to knit in the unwind ebony. For the reds, I chose the canvas and the cherry. And then the holiday treats and the red dots. Love how it has the multicolored reds in there. And then for some grays, I wanted to match this one. So the provision stone was the closest one, uh, the same hue of gray. And then I wanted just a little bit lighter gray. So the um, diamond dots and the silver, I really love that. Also because it kind of continues the, the dots. So it kind of like it's snowing. And then I found some great plaids and stripes. So if you wanted to add a stripe, the Discover in the gray stripe is perfect for it. I have three options for um, plaids. You can do a gray, the diagonal plaid gray, the holiday lane. Got a little bit of red in there. Or you could do a white one. Or you could do a black and white, the diagonal plaid and the black, if you wanted to go that route. So this is Tradition Continues, brand new in the store, just in the nick of time for our show. Very happy about that. <clears throat> so that is all of our holiday bundles that we have, Christmas and winter. Um, I hope you were inspired by some of these things. Of course, we're going to keep working and sewing out of these things. Now, I want to show you a few more things. So we have um, just a few pre-cuts still left. We have the Hustle and Bustle just because it just came in, both in the layer cake and the 
charms. We have just a few Christmas morning charm packs left and then the Holiday Essentials Christmas. So these, this one is really just very classic holiday um, colors and prints. And so great for the little runners, the littles, little Kara, little Stella, all of those. So these are available. And then we, I wanted to mention, uh, we have, of course, a lot of one yards and three yards that coordinate with some of our bundles. But we also have some one yards and three yards of really great holiday prints that I love. Um, and I've kind of chosen them specifically because they would work great for backings or bigger pieces, borders, and things like that. So let me just show you quick some favorites. Um, we have the snow globes really love this one um, snow globes that's a dear Stella print we have the Christmas patch on wood which actually is a part of our um, comfort and joy bundle and we have the Santa Express the main print that I showed you that was the back of my Santa Express quilt and then we have a couple of beautiful London Christmas prints so the classic um, London themed Christmas in the black background and um, the, the cream background. And we have lots, lots more three yards. So just check that out. Um, one more special thing that we have in the store, but before I show you that one and we finish it off, I wanted to show you four more quilts that I just went really quickly on, on Goodness Quilt Crew and on Facebook today. And I saw four beautiful um, quilts made with some of our bundles, but also they're quilts that would be perfect for a lot of these. So first off, I wanted to show you the Marina quilt. Now this one is made by Deb using Christmas morning, but you know, the Marina is an easy quilt, it's fun to make, and it's kind of like presents. So it's a perfect, perfect one for Christmas fabrics. And as a matter of fact, I found a second one by Jeannie that um, used just an assortment of Christmas fabrics from her stash, I believe, um, for a beautiful marina. And then uh, another Christmas morning, this is Matrix made by Jill, Jill B. Um, love this, really love this. So gorgeous, gorgeous work there. Love how you did the green, <clears throat> the darker green and the, and the white for the accent colors. And another pattern that works really well for holiday colors is June. This is Jill's um, June, even though I don't think these are holiday prints, but look at just the green and red, how gorgeous that is in June um, and using a white or an ivory or even a cream background would make a gorgeous holiday quilt. So um, if this is not enough, of course, you know uh, that, you know, with our bundles, sometimes we have leftovers. So we always offer mystery bundles. And so for this special show, we put together winter holiday and winter christmas and winter mystery bundles so these are just mini mystery bundles six pieces of beautiful christmas fabrics christmas or winter fabrics and they are of course uh, bits and pieces of all those things you've seen tonight and then some some that are sold out even um, so these are available in the store now but before you go shopping let me give you a little treat how about that? Thanking you for hanging with us. We knew we were going to be a long show tonight, um, but I wanted to give you a little treat if you want to stock up for the months ahead through the holidays. Um, here is a little discount code to use in our store for a 10% off of all of our fabric bundles and three yards and pre-cuts. Now, of course, I want to remind you if you want to purchase our one yard, with the quantity discount that we have on our one yards, it would be better to buy them separately. You would get a better, better deal that way because you can't use the code. It will mess up the quantity discount on the one yards. But everything else, bundles and our um, pre-cuts and, of course, our three yards are included in the discount code. And how you do that, so we can only... Um, you have to add the discount code during the checkout. So when you go to checkout, don't use the quick checkout, the quick PayPal checkout. Go um, to the to the cart and um, can you put? Did you find that Im image with the cart? Um, the discount checkout. So once you pull up the checkout, there's a box that says put in the discount code, and I'll, you just type in. 
Here's the same way to put it. Uh, winter 2021. It does on the last page. <laughs> But that's okay. So make sure you put that discount code in the checkout because we cannot add it afterwards. All right. Um, that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and of course, another reward for sticking with us. And that is our live winner. Our live, live winner for um, just commenting today. Patricia Kalisak. Congratulations. $25 gift card coming your way. Um, send us an email to help at geequiltdesigns.com and we will get that gift card to you electronically so you can go shopping. Now the discount code, if you want to take your time, the discount code will be valid for a whole week. So through next Tuesday, so through Tipsy Tuesday, um, it will end on midnight on Tuesday the, the 5th, um, October 5th. All right, <clears throat> before I lose my voice, I want to finish it off with a giveaway question. So a second chance to win a gift card. Uh, my question to you is, what is your favorite winter holiday custom? So, of course, we all have our different customs. We come from different places. And maybe your family has something special, a tradition that you do. I would love to hear about it. Now, I don't know if there's anything did you do anything what's your favorite what's your favorite thing that we do for the holidays or you or you do for uh as a winter tradition do you remember anything not, not really really not really well when i was a kid going to my grandmother's on christmas eve and getting pajamas yes so now you still get pajamas and you wear them all That's year the best <laughs> you wear them all year yeah um we have a lot of cool Christmas traditions in Iceland that are probably unique. And um, my favorite was probably when the kids were younger and then when I was young, when we got to put our shoe in the window. But that's a story for another day. We'll talk about it when it is time to put your shoe in the window <laughs> this coming December. All right. <clears throat> Before I lose my voice again, thank you for being here. We will be back. Um, this coming Friday for a happy Friday show. That is October 1st. October already. October 1st at 3 p.m. Central Time. And then, of course, for a Tipsy Tuesday next week, October 5th. Can't wait to see you, there. See you then. We'll hear more about that elusive pattern, new pattern. Thanks, everybody, for hanging with us. Um, have a great night. We'll see you next week. <laughs>